Matt Luce, it's Kenny Wormald and Julian Huff. Thank you for being here. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Do you like that little Katy Perry we got going on? Yeah, it's yes. cool. My boy Kevin's in the video. He's oh, really? a great nerd. Oh, cool. <laughs> you did a good job then, eh? It's good. So you guys have been in uh, Toronto since yesterday, right? Yeah, we literally got in uh, at 5 o'clock, went and did a little screening of, of the new movie, and uh, we leave tomorrow, but I love it here. It's awesome. I heard you were going to the CNE, which is on right now. It's like a little fair we have for the yeah. Yeah. end of the summer. Cool. We were there yesterday. We didn't get to ride any of the rides, though. I was, no, I was... but we did get some beaver tail. Is that what it is? Okay, okay, that's a good choice, because I was going to yeah. ask. They have this weird thing called like a deep-fried butter stick. Yeah. I don't know if anyone we told heard you about that. that. But we didn't know. eat it. Is it? Good, is it weird? No, who would eat that? I know. Uh, I don't want to eat people down butter, south. Honest, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've had your little experience here in Toronto, which is great. Um, you, of course, are in the. It's a remake of Footloose, and this is a very iconic film. So I just want to know what's that like to be part of something so legendary? It's huge. Yeah. I mean, we're, we feel very blessed and uh, to obviously have been a part of this film, and just I don't know. I mean, we we're really proud of it. I. I it, we're yeah. both huge fans of the original, <laughs> yes. so to get to remake uh, an iconic film that we love and and uh, grew up watching was amazing, you know. And we wanted to do uh, do right by the original, mm -hmm. be respectful to the original. And there's a lot of fans that love the original, so uh, we're excited to show them because it's true to the original. But there's also a whole new generation of kids who may have not seen Footloose that I think will totally love it yeah. as well. What yeah. are some of the new takes in your? In your opinions like the well we take, shot right? it in georgia yeah. down south and the whole culture of georgia is in the film and it's kind of a character in itself and then also you know the music yeah. there's some yes. updated music some of the original songs are in it and then some of the original songs are remixed and tweaked and uh yeah it's a great collaborative music can i say there's some hip-hop just in case there you is. Like, oh there it's is. gonna be all country oh, yeah. or something no no, no. no. david yeah. banner <laughs> and um yeah there's Can Academy Award winning 3-6 Mafia. Exactly. Southern to Southern. <laughs> oh yeah, it's awesome. And like a lot of the dance numbers that we do in this film, they're obviously more current mm -hmm. than 80s dancing, which I'm sure people will appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little grinding. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, so yeah, so it's, it's very entertaining. I think, you know, like he said, this generation will um, hopefully, you know, Are really, you guys going to really go watch Footloose? So. October 14th, yes. by the way. Yes, um, so there was obviously a lot of preparation for this film with all the dancing involved, but did you get any tips from Kevin Bacon and Laurie Singer, the stars of the original? You know what? We didn't, but we knew the original film so well, and they were amazing in it. You know, Kevin Bacon was so iconic in the original film, but we didn't meet them, but we, okay. you know, we hope to meet them soon, and we hope they enjoy the film, because we love them and their film, so. Absolutely. Well, I don't want to, supposedly Kevin Bacon's never even watched his own Footloose. Yeah, I heard he doesn't watch yeah, his own movies. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a lot of action. Get your people to call his people so he can come see the new version. Maybe he'll do that. That would yes. be really cool. We would be totally honored. So. Yeah. There's an iconic scene in the movie called The Angry Dance, um, and you get to do it again in the remake. We're going to see some of what Kevin Bacon does here from the video. But uh, what was that like remaking such a intense scene? Well, as you can see, he's killing it in this, and I grew up watching him do this scene, and it's so iconic. There's not a lot of dance solos in film. Yeah. So, you know, growing up loving this and then getting to replicate that, you know, 20-something years later and, and wearing almost the same thing and having the bug in the factory and just getting to rage and dance out of control. Is it hard to get all worked up like that? Like no, it was fun. We, we have a different song. Our song is a yeah, White Stripe song amazing. called Catch Hell Blues, and it's, it's a character with, within itself. It's very angry by itself and uh, so no it wasn't too hard but it was a blast to shoot that's how we uh, ended the shoot so yeah. it was a great way to end the film so Julian you grew up in Utah like where the original was shot yes. and I don't know if I have this right maybe you can clear it up but I, I was watching an interview with you, you said you danced in that steel mill or almost something? almost I yeah. used to pass the steel <laughs> okay. mill on my way to dance so I could have danced she would in just it. Wave to it. Uh, yeah <laughs> but no yeah the the original was shot in Utah Obviously, that's where I grew up, and uh, so yeah, the, Footloose definitely is. There's so many coincidences yeah, uh, that weird. have happened with me in the movie, and I, I, when I auditioned, uh, I actually like called my mom right after. She didn't know mm -hmm. I auditioned, and she turned down the radio. I was like, wait, 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 what was that? And she's like, oh, Footloose was playing. I'm like, oh my gosh, so weird. And, yeah. um, and then of course, yeah, being in Utah, we be. would pass that all the time. So wasn't yeah. your first 
Dance on. My first dance on Dancing with the Stars was to Let's Hear It for the Boy oh. with Paulo Ono. So it's meant to be. Yeah. It was. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> we both have had long music careers, so um, we wanted to do this little thing called Where's Wormald? Where's Wormald? Because you've been in a lot of music videos, and we're a music station, and we have every video uh -oh. ever made. Okay. So we were going through the library. I haven't even seen this. So, so excited. So uh. this will be entertaining for you both. <laughs> Look at this. Mariah Carey, It's Like That. We're going to spot the Wormald. <laughs> Uh oh, here we go. Here we go, where are you? <laughs> there you are! Look at you! <laughs> Freeze frame! That's awesome. yeah. What was Mariah Carey like? Uh, she's very cool, you know, and Marty Kadelka choreographed that, who's a friend of mine who also choreographed Justin's stuff, so yeah. that, was a, that was a very cool uh, video to do, and I'm a big fan of Mariah's music, so it was a blast. Okay, we're gonna go to this one. We weren't quite sure about Nelly Furtado's Promiscuous Girl. Yeah. But Ooh, let's see if we can She's find Canadian. you and Nelly hey. Furtado. Yeah. We think this, we found you, but we're not sure. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was intimidated. I was dancing and kind of grinding on her, and I was like, oh, Nelly Furtado, cool. Was, was that one of to... your <laughs> earlier gigs or later gigs? Yeah, middle gigs, yeah. I'd say, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was awesome too. That you was like a that? fun it's, one. Should, and it's should... a Timbaland track, so yeah, that's always fun. That. Yeah. You've done a lot of music videos, so we just wanted to show a few because yeah, it's thank cool. you. <laughs> Thanks for that. That was uh, fun. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you. Um, and you've got an upcoming project as well called Rock of Ages, which was a musical. Yes. Now there's going to be a film, and it sounds like an all-star cast with Tom Cruise and yeah. who else is in it? Um, Catherine Zeta Jones, Alec Baldwin, Russell Brand, just to name a few. Yeah. I mean, Mary J. Blige, um, who I have a lot of my scenes with, and it's kind of an odd pairing, but we've literally become best friends. I love that woman so much, and uh, yeah, it was an, it was a really fun project to do. So different than Footloose, yeah. and um, I, yeah, I, I feel very very blessed that um, I don't know. I've been getting these great opportunities, and uh, yeah, it's coming out next year. Yeah, that comes out June next year. Awesome. Okay. But this one comes out October 14th. Exactly. And Footloose comes out October 14th. You need to go see it, learn the dances, and uh, you're sticking around for the rest of the show because we have some fun stuff planned. Awesome. Okay, yes. you ready? We're here. Uh, right now, though, we're going to get back to some music for you. I just got to congratulate Phoebe and Kathleen again on both winning the dance competition. Well done. Nice of you guys to be fair yeah. and not single anyone out. Um, so, Footloose comes out October 14th. And, Kenny, I found some interesting criticism about the film on your Twitter. Yeah. We can show the tweet that Kenny retweeted here. <laughs> not going to watch Footloose remake. Kenny Wormald looks like a rotten veggie dog next to Kevin Bacon. Hashtag no substitute for real meat. That's awesome. Did you, you see what I responded? Yeah, we have your response because awesome. I thought this was classic. Let's go to that. <laughs> Boom. Have you tried veggie sausage? It's bomb. It's new, but still has the original taste, kind of like our Footloose. <laughs> Don't, Don't knock, knock it till you try it. <laughs> nice try, MC Keggles. I got you. See, you gotta just embrace and call out. She's these like people. famous now. That's cool. Good for you. Well, I just thought that was hey, really man. funny and good because I mean, it, it is such an iconic film, and people are gonna have mixed reviews. But I mean, it's yeah. still a good film. And look, I mean, I, when I heard they were remaking Footloose, I was like. You know, first off, I was a bit jealous that it was going to be another actor, not me. But then when everything switched around, <laughs> right. we got Craig honest, Brewer, right. our great director, to, to, to rewrite the script. And, you know, it's so true to the original, but adds new flavor. So it's 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 a yes. perfect combination. And I really I really believe in it. And we're both proud of it. So just go see it, MC Keggles. We are. See, well, that's <laughs> the everyone. thing. It's like we, like we really want people to go see it before they judge it. Because exactly. we thought the same thing at the beginning. But it's, it's done with such taste. And I think the original, you know, people that love the original are going to love it. And then the people that actually have never seen Footloose are totally going to enjoy it. And they're going to get to see it the way all the, the fans of the original saw it when they were young. Yeah. You know, so it's cool. It's the new generation. Cool. One last question. Do you eat veggie sausage? I do actually. Are you a vegetarian? No, but it's actually really good. Like I like I said, that was I was a lion. Yeah, okay, thank delicious. you so much for being here, Julianne Hap and Kenny Wormall. We're gonna get back to the music and go see Phyllis. Yeah. Awesome.